Well, it's great to be with everybody. I'll tell you that. Um, I want to also make sure. Did our did our senator and representative are they here? Oh. Okay, we'll get. We'll give him a minute. We'll give him a minute. Happy Monday. How is everybody doing? Good. Good. This is a little different, huh? Do you know what you're here for? <laughs> How many of you have been to press conference? Do you know what a press conference is? No? All right. You're going to see one. A pres it is a, it's a presentation. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, Karina will take it. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, good morning, everyone. It's great. It's a. Uh, it's great to be here with all of you. I'm Maura Healy. I'm your governor. And joining me today, we have our mayor of Boston, Michelle Wu, who's with us. Hot off her piano performance, amazing piano performance at the BSO. We have our Secretary of Education, Dr. Pat Tutwiler. Our Commissioner of Early and Secondary Education, Russell Johnston. We have Representative Adrian Madaro. And Senator, where are you? All right, you good? We have Senator Lydia Edwards. Our, and we have, who's this special person? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know her. Yes, your great principal, Emily Sproviero. Um, and we welcome, um, we are delighted to be welcomed today by, by Principal uh, Sproviero and all the incredible teachers and staff and folks who work here at Hugh Rowe O'Don O'Donnell Elementary. Did you know that there are more than 1,700 public schools in Massachusetts? 1,700, but only 10 of those schools earned this special recognition. And that recognition here that we're celebrating today is for being such an awesome school where kids come to school, where kids come to school and they love to come to school. And I know you've worked really, really hard on that. So we wanted to celebrate your amazing success because your school is one of 10 in the entire state that had the biggest improvement in school attendance. Awesome. No hey. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we wanted to recognize you for this amazing success. And did you know the world champion Boston Celtics wanted to recognize you as well with a special gift, a gold colored basketball signed by the entire Boston Celtics championship team. Yeah. You know, because nobody knows the value of teamwork better than the Celtics. And we know that it takes a team to create the success that we see happening here. And on your team, we have great teachers and staff supporting you every day. We have fellow students who are there for you, working together with you, right? We have parents and folks at home who are making sure that you get what you need and that you get to school. And the O'Donnell School is truly a great example of teamwork and championship caliber success. So we wanted to say, Thank you to being such a, for being such a great example to schools all across Massachusetts. We know that across this country, too many of our young people are spending too much time outside of school, and they're not learning. And that's been the case especially since the COVID pandemic. But we've taken on this challenge in Massachusetts, and we're about making progress here. The statewide rate of chronic absenteeism fell by five percentage points from March 23 to March of this year. That's a big deal in just one year. 
and it's fallen by 10 percentage points since March of 2022. At schools like the O'Donnell, though, it fell by even more, nearly 19 percentage points. So you all are showing the way forward, making great, great progress. You know, Massachusetts was recently voted, once again, the number one state for education, the number one state to raise a family, the number one state to have a child. We're number one in innovation. And that's all possible because of the great work of a community like the one here in East Boston with great teachers and staff and families and folks who are engaged in their community. And it's, uh, it's something that we celebrate, having the best schools, the best students, and the best teachers. I say that everywhere I go. And when I say it here, I'm talking about all of you this morning. That's why Dr. Tutwiler and his team have called our statewide attendance campaign, which we know is so important. Your presence is powerful. Your presence is powerful. Your presence in the classroom here today, coming to school, is powerful. And that's more than just a slogan. It's the actual truth. Because by being here to learn, you power your own future. You set your own course. And you're going to grow up to do great things in Massachusetts and beyond. And now I want to bring up our greatest champion for your success, our Secretary of Education, Dr. Pat Tutwiler. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah? All right. So um, you guys have pom-poms. Um, let's see if we can do this. Every time I raise my hand like this, I want you to shake your pom-poms. Ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do this, Sam. Right. You ready? And then when I bring my hand down, then you stop. Okay? Ready? All right, now we're ready. Um, my name is Pat Tutwiler, and I have the pleasure of being your Secretary of Education. <laughs> I love it. Bring them on the road, Secretary. I'm telling you. I love it. Okay. Um, much to probably uh, the disappointment of some of you, I do not play for the Boston Celtics. Hold that question, young man. Go ahead, ask it quickly. I say you're from the Lakers. For the Lakers? Oh, oh, oh. No, we like it. I don't think. I don't think they would allow me in here if I was a, a Laker. But on we go. Okay, okay yes. What's, what's your name, young man? Come on, come on up here, Tomas. Okay, so when I tell you you're going to... Tomas is now going to be uh, the pom-pom leader, okay? When, I, when he raises his hand... That's when you shake it, but I'll tell you when to raise it, all right? Here we go. So the governor has already set the platform. Today is a celebration. We are so incredibly proud of you for reducing chronic absenteeism by 18 percentage points. Right. Yeah. That means that all of you all of your parents, your caregivers, your teachers, everybody in this community com committed to coming to school every single day, and that's important. He put his, he put his hand down. As the governor said, your presence is powerful in school. When you're here in school, you are with your friends, you are with your teachers. You have all of these wonderful resources right here for you every single day. As my former colleague, uh, Linza McIntyre, who works for the Boston Public Schools, used to say, when you miss school, you miss out, right? But you are all here, and we are so proud of you. We know that the absenteeism rate is still higher than it was before the pandemic began, but with schools like the O'Donnell leading the way, we are headed in the right direction. It is an honor for me to be here 
as your Secretary of Education, not a Laker, not a Celtic, but an educator who cares deeply about all of you to congratulate you on this incredible forward progress. Keep going, O'Donnell. You all are a leader in this state. Keep going. Congratulations. You can have a seat, my buddy. And with that, it is my pleasure uh, to turn it over uh, to the mayor, Mayor Wu. Thank you so much, Mr. Secretary. Thank you for pleasure. all that you do my and pleasure. all that you have done in Boston and, and now statewide. Uh, we are so excited to be here at the O'Donnell with some very, very special guests. And I can't tell you how, how special it is for our governor, for our senator, for our state representative, and all the leaders, our commissioner, our Boston Teachers Union president, secretary, everyone to be here to say thank you. Because when you all come to school every day, and you work hard, and you take care of each other, and you learn, it makes it so that every school across, the, across Boston and Massachusetts have an example that they want to be like, too. So I learned so much on this tour with Ms. Roviero and our incredible tour guides. I was on the, one of the two tours that happened, so with Branzel and Anna Bellin and Sophia, who did an amazing job showing us all the reasons why they're excited to come to school every single day. We saw where you have yummy food for breakfast and lunch, free breakfast now, thanks to the state across the entire Commonwealth. We saw the incredible learning environments in some of our classrooms, and we heard what their favorite part of school was, which is that their teachers are so warm and welcoming and support them in everything that they want to do. I also heard and I, some of the folks on the other tour that Mia and Sebastian gave an amazing tour as well, and I'll, I'll have to get the insights from them too on that tour. Most of all, we know that so much has to happen at the school level, and Ms. Corbiero shared a little bit about all that she and her team does to celebrate and recognize attendance every single day in the daily announcements, right? To, celebrate the students who have perfect attendance or to celebrate the classrooms that are doing really well with everyone coming and that makes a difference every single day but she said also just as important is families and we want to thank Miss Claudia the family liaison and all of our families I know I have two boys, I have to get to school every morning too, and it's not always the easiest to make sure they wake up in time, have everything ready, have clothes ready to go, uniforms, and so on the part of our families, thank you so much for setting the example as well and being part of this very important mission for the entire city of Boston. So thank you to all of my colleagues here, everyone from BPS, I know we're represented with um, Ms. Linda Chen here, because the superintendent had something come up. And we had many, many BPS members here as well. Thank you for your leadership. Um, I also want to shout out Rebecca Granger, who is in our mayor's office as our senior advisor for youth and families. So we are all working together as one team to make sure that we can help you all with whatever you need. So thank you for being such great examples. And now I get to pass it over to the person who helped make so much of this possible, Principal Sprobiero. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> um, I am so honored to be standing before all of you today and with all of you here, um, but I am not alone in this. It truly takes a village. We have seen some pretty big lows. We were named by the Boston Globe with our chronic absenteeism during COVID. It hit 51%. That means that half of our students were missing more than 10% of the school year. And that really adds up. But we have turned that around, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where's Tomas? Mm -hmm. Tomas, hold it, hold it, the banners. We need to get secretary here. Yeah. Come on. Pop off. We turned it around. Yeah. <laughs> I should have primed that better. 
because of every single person in our O'Donnell village, our O'Donnell community, we have seen an incredible increase. So first, I want to thank our families. Everyone turn around to our families. They make sure that rain or shine, dentist appointment, or anything else, you guys are coming to school. And that makes a difference. And it is also because of the work of our family team led by Ms. Claudia also. <laughs> and every single staff member here, all of your teachers have done so much to make sure that you are all coming to school every day. They do text home, they do phone calls home, they build connections, they make every single classroom a space where all of you love to be. And I mentioned, Sebastian told me on Friday that on the weekends, he looks forward to Monday because he can't wait to come to school. Oh, Isn't that amazing? And if you ask O'Donnell students, which in the past when we've done tours and people are like, what do you love about the O'Donnell? They say, it feels like a second home. And because of that sense of belonging here at the O'Donnell, we know that kids want to be here every single day. So I am so proud of all of this work. I'm so honored to be leading this village, this community, and I cannot wait to see how much more we grow. Maybe we'll get a second basketball. We'll see, we'll see, I don't know. Um, and with that, I'm going to pass it. Am I passing it to Dr. Chen? I'm passing it to you? Nope. Oh, I'm passing it back to Governor Keerley. All right, thank you so much. Hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adrian Madrum, your state representative. Hi, everyone. I'm your state senator, Lydia Edwards. We're your neighbors right here in East Boston, and we are so proud of all of you. We wanted to just present you a citation from the Massachusetts legislature, the House and the Senate. Miss Emily, could you please come up? This recognizes the amazing achievement that you've all made. You made this possible. Absolutely. This is for all of you, so congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you to our elected officials. Because of them, we're getting a playground. Thanks so much. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, and the mayor, come on up too. Kids, all right, ready? Where's our? Where's? What? Secretary. Yep. Yeah. Great. And yeah. Commissioner, come on up. Here you are. Yep. Come on up, Commissioner. Yep. 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 Okay. Great. Yep. Come through. Yep. So. Um, this is what we were talking about, okay? This is, this is what we were talking about, okay? Why don't you stand over here, guys? Yeah, come on over here, okay? All right, you see? This is, this is the basketball. Oh, here, you want to hold that? It has our name on it. Yeah. It's gold. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk out with him. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who said that? I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> See? Yeah. All right. So, on behalf of the state of Massachusetts and the city of Boston, we are here to congratulate the O'Donnell Elementary School, the students, the teachers, the families, for your incredible work in making sure that our young people are in the school where it's at. So keep up the great work and we're giving you this basketball from the Boston Celtics organization, the championship Boston Celtics. <laughs> This is a special stand for it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 
take a big group photo at the end, but why don't we take um, any on-topic questions? No. Okay. On-topic questions. <laughs> on questions. Okay. <laughs> if there aren't, why don't we, why don't we take the picture? Yeah. Okay? Picture. Yeah. Well, to go this way? Well, maybe move this and we can stand this way. And this way. I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to tuck that back there. Yeah. Watch your feet. Watch your feet go. Oh, it's 